guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep a smile for a day? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long. But y'all already know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. The golden nugget today is he can fix it. Yes. God, source of all resources. Because truth be told, we've been trying to fix it on our own. And what happens when we do that? We find ourselves in the same state of being or even worse. We are further behind. Why? Because we are just slapping band-aids on it when the situation really needs wet stitches. Exactly. Just think about it. If you break a bone in your body and you don't go and have it fixed properly, have it set into place properly, what's going to happen? It's going to mend. Okay? It's going to mend. Mending doesn't necessarily mean healed. Are you listening to me? So when that thing mend and you didn't get it fixed properly, you may end up with some crookedness about you. May end up with a, a, a little limp in your walk, right? Are you listening to me? And what happens? Every once in a while, you'll get a flare up. Either it's either real cold, you say, oh, my arm aching. That's where I broke it. Yes, it's like that because it didn't, it didn't never heal. It mended, but it didn't heal. Are y'all listening to me? But when you give it to God and let him fix it properly, whatever the situation is, I don't care what arena it is in your life, when God fixes it, it's healed. He has stitched that bad boy up so tight and right to where you ain't going to have no flare-ups. That's why, listen carefully, that's why when God fix something in your life, people aren't able to tell that it was ever broken. Woo! Did I say a mouthful there? You know what? I watch people, places, and things when they are going through certain things or after they've gone through the storm. You'll know when something has really been fixed by God. Why? Because you won't be able to tell that they have ever gone through it. Now, if you meet people or see people and they always talk about their flare-ups, mm -hmm, flare-ups about what happened to them in their lives, they always going back to the pain in their life. That means what? It's not fixed. They were never healed of that. They were mended. It was mended. But they didn't get it set properly by God. They didn't really let God fix it. That's why every once in a while you'll hear about the flare-ups. And they, listen, they'll tell you about it too. And not only that, they will resemble their hurt. They will resemble their pain. You will be able to look at them and say, mm, man, they going through something. Or they have been through something. I'm telling you. But there are some individuals who trusted God, who stayed aligned and connected, which means what God is at the forefront of their lives, moving in and through them, able to see within their journey with some clarity. Those individuals, you can't tell that they ain't been through nothing. Why? Because they look good, they smell good, they talk well. They always talking about good things. They ain't got the pole mouth. They ain't limping over there. You can't tell that nothing's been done with them until the eyes of those who are not all the way aligned and connected. They call that conceited. They say, oh, they're so conceited. Oh, they only think about themselves. Why? Because they always happen. Why? Because they don't look like what they've been through. And because they don't look like what they've been through, the people who are not aligned and connected, they automatically think, oh, mm -hmm, wait, life is going to catch up with them. And they have no earthly idea. The life has already been dealing them some cards. But the thing is, God always have an ace ooh, in place for those who stay aligned and connected. And those aces always come through. Y'all know I'm learning how to play cards. Play cards now. Listen, for fun, for fun. But listen, when you rock with God, God fixes things in a permanent situation. In other words, when he fixes it, it's fixed permanently. Permanently. It is. Which means what? You're not going to see any residue. Say, for instance, you get in a car accident and it's some dents there and you go to have it fixed. Now, if that person's really good at fixing fixing things like that when they say they have fixed your car 
you won't be able to tell that it was ever in a car accident. There won't be any dents present, none whatsoever. You won't be able to tell. You will say, oh yeah, a deer hit my car. Uh, uh, I ran into a, a pole or whatever it was. You know what I mean? And they said, you did? Where at? On the right side? Girl, I can't. Man. Oh man, they did a good. You sure? You sure? You sure you ain't dream about it? Why? Because there will be no residue of that accident. But if you take it to somebody to fix it and they ain't a good fixer, they can't really fix that thing. Oh, you'll be able to tell what a, what a deer hit it. You'll be able to tell what a bear banged on it or whatnot. You'll be able to tell where you hit that pole in it. Why? Because it's going to be some residue. It's going to be a dent somewhere. It's going to still be a scratch somewhere. That's what I'm talking about. You got to allow God to fix it for you because when he does, it's fixed. It's not mended. It's really fixed. It's healed. There will be no residue of it. And when you tell about, even if you tell the testimony of what you've been through, ain't nobody going to believe it. They're going to say they lying. They over-exaggerated. Yeah. Why? Because you don't look like you did that. You don't look like you were actually in that. You don't look like you actually had to sleep in your car. You don't look like you were homeless. You don't look like. You don't sound like. You don't talk like. You don't walk like. Why? Because God healed it. He fixed it. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all today. That he can truly fix it. He'll fix it to where there is absolutely no residue of what you were actually in. And guess what? You won't have any flare-ups. You won't. You know how it is if you have a broken bone and you didn't get it fixed properly. Let it get cold outside. Oh, I'm having flare-ups, my arm aching. Oh, I'm having flare-ups, my leg aching. Why? Because they ain't fixed it properly. They ain't set it right. It just mended but didn't heal. So listen, if you truly want the situation that you're in to be fixed, Get and stay aligned and connected, which means what God is at the forefront of your life. Move the inner through you that you're able to see within your journey with some clarity. And then give it to God and let him take care of it. Let him fix it because he's going to set it in its proper places. He's going to do what is right for it. And when he fix it, he's going to heal it. And there won't be any residue. Oh, y'all listen to me. I hope so. And I hope y'all got it. Oh, I'm at seven minutes and almost eight minutes, I'll say. But if you didn't get this thing, you better rewind it and watch again. In the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the mask of smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. He can fix it. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.